Randall should be the one laying there. Not your brother. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Yes, that means the dance is over. Your funeral. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Really, you'd come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Birdo, no. <laughs> he was a mule! Roto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. Damn, man. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is now. How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, a ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. He didn't ask any questions, he didn't turn me away, he just welcomed me in. 
I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. Sam, stop! Easy, all right? Jesus! Little help of you! What the... Let go of me! Sam clearly needed it. Feel better? Not until he's dead. When I get out of here, I'll do a lot more than break a few of your ribs. Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. But you're the one who burned down our home. Forced our people on the shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Families, kids, never did shit to you. We didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up, all the shit they had to leave behind. Ignore him, Michonne. You're probably burned beyond recognition now. You did that. I'm not uh, upsetting you, am I? He's only trying to piss you off. You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. Pick you don't know. Michelle. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. I'm right here. Good. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? I'll see how badly you hurt him. Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. That goes both ways. Anything you do to my friends, I'll do to Randall. You better not touch him! We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. What's going to happen next? <laughs> Why did love put a gun in my hand? Why did love put a gun in my hand? Why did love put a gun in my hand? In my bed?
<laughs> what? There's something on my face. The bruises aren't so bad, right? I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers. Shut up. Maybe it won't matter. This has to work. It could be worse, you know? At least he's not dead. We'll get our friends back. Alive. That's if Norma keeps her word. The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> you all have no idea what you're in for. Ugh. He's right. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? Where do you propose we go? I don't know. Does it matter? Anywhere would be better than here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. I'll watch him. Sam! ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> I understand. You should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Uh, Sam, you can't still be thinking. My mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead. But I'm not coming with you. Sorry, but I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah.
I, I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just... Careful. You don't want to shoot yourself. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? Everyone gets scared sometimes. I'm not afraid. <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta... I mean... The things he said... The way he was laughing about dad... He can't get away with it. We have to give Randall back to his sister, James. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Don't forget what I told you. It's okay to be scared. It means you're paying attention. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. Is that music? I can't reach you. I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. I'll tell you a secret. They scare me too sometimes. 
Really? But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No, I don't believe you. I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It it it's what happens, right? No. He was shot in the head. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. <laughs> and then you don't turn. Okay? It's not fair. You deserve to know the truth. I didn't want to lie about what happened to your dad. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Then stay. Sam needs you. You're gonna regret it if you leave, trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain I love you more than anything, Sophie.
I remember getting my law degree. Doesn't mean much now. stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. It wasn't stupid. You cared about finding your friends. There's nothing wrong with that. I think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other. But no. They're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. It doesn't doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. This isn't you, Pete. You help people. You helped me. Don't give up. I won't. We just... We have to get my crew back. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? If Norma's coming for a fight, are we really prepared for that? These kids, they aren't up for this. Norma says she wants to make a deal, and I believe her. We make the trade and get out of here. James and Alex, wonder how they get through all this. Old record player. Right behind you. I'm a guest in this house. Where are your manners? You know, my hands hurt a little bit. You got any ointment lying around? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, well, when Norma gets here, she'll bust down that little gate of yours. And tune you up good. Just march on in. Majestic as fuck. You can still call her off. Get her to let my friends go. I'd rather eat shit out of a dead dog's ass. Don't be a stranger. Soon. Hey, thanks for before. I uh, I couldn't have moved it myself. Something you need? Want a hand? No, having something to do helps me not think about everything. Paige thinks we're not safe here. Now we need to move on. Bet she's trying to convince you to leave too. She's wanted out of here for a while. I'm not leaving without you. I wouldn't blame you if you did. You're here to get your people back, and that's fine. None of this is your mess. It's just, so much of this place is my dad. It's all of us. He worked his way up from nothing. He took a job cleaning houses, paid his way through law school. When he bought this house, it was, it was proof that he'd made a better life for us. We grew up here, I, maybe I'm crazy, but I can't let that all be for nothing. He was so proud of what he built. This place kept us safe. 
We were happy here. I don't expect you to understand. You found the bag? Yeah, here. Thanks. I should get back to work. This must be how they reinforce the gate. Hope it keeps Norma out. Like they were ready for anything, almost anything. Worked better than I thought. What a mess. Could have been a lot worse. for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Maybe you don't need to say anything. It's okay to just be here together. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. I'm just worried about the crew. If Norma hurt them. They'll be okay. We'll get them back. You know I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. Sound like an idiot, don't I? Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore, no matter how much you want it to. Hey, I decided to stay. For Sam. 
Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. She's here! I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. What's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. 